and welcome to my video on how polymers are utilised within the sport of badminton. Before I go into how they're applied in the sport, I'll go through the basics of polymers in general first. A polymer can be defined as a large molecule or macromolecule made by linking smaller repeater units known as monomers. The linking of these monomers is called polymerization. How are these polymers usually represented? Here's a section of a simple polymer, polyethene. The monomer of this polymer is ethene. The repeat unit is a part of the chain which could be repeated over and over to give the full polymer. And the polymer is represented like this. There are two general primary types of polymerization, chain growth and step growth, and subcategories of each. In chain growth polymerization, monomers are added one by one to the reactive end of the chain. Specific chain growth mechanisms differ greatly, but they all have an initiation step where a reactive species is formed, propagation steps where the chain is extended, and a termination step where the reactive species is deactivated and polymerization stops. Chain growth polymerizations have three different types. Free radical, where a species with an unpaired electron is the reactive species. Cationic, where the reactive species has a positive charge, or anionic, where it's got a negative charge. In step growth polymerizations, all the monomers and chains are reactive with each other, so chains can combine, forming longer chains. Where are polymers used in badminton? Rackets use carbon fibre which is produced by a polymer and is used because it's strong but lightweight. Most casual players use nylon shuttles or polyamide due to their cost and durability. Most sports clothing is also made from polyesters due to its stretchiness allowing players to use their full range of movement. The soles of badminton shoes also contain a form of rubber allowing them to grip and quickly change direction. But I will focus on the use of rackets and shuttles as they are fundamental to the game, starting with rackets. Many professional players use rackets with a carbon fibre frame due to the high strength to weight ratio of carbon fibre allowing for a lighter racket which can be moved more quickly for better reflexes on defence. And increase power on smashes. All of this allows badminton to be the fastest racket sport in the world with a world record shuttle speed of 493 km/h. So why do the racket manufacturers choose carbon fibre? First and foremost, the high strength to weight ratio of carbon fibre is the crucial property. This property arises from the layers of carbon sheets being slightly misaligned causing folds in the structure so the sheets cannot slide past each other and the structure is held together more strongly, unlike in graphite where layers slide easily making it slippery. Here's a list of a few of carbon fibre's properties compared with other common materials used for badminton rackets. The ultimate strength is the highest on the list, as well as it being the least dense of the list of materials to allow for a light racket, and also being one of the most resistant to corrosion and wear. So how is carbon fibre actually produced? It begins with the polymerization of acrylonitrile, drawn here on the right, to make polyacrylonitrile via an anionic polymerization, a form of chain growth polymerization. The initiation goes as follows, with the attack of the alkene double bond by a nucleophile, moving the negative charge onto the carbon. Then, in the propagation, we have this negative charge going on to attack a further monomer, moving the negative charge onto the equivalent carbon of this next monomer. This process can be repeated over and over to give the polymer, polyacrylonitrile. The next step of the production involves heating the polyacrylonitrile to allow cycloaddition to occur, forming six-membered hexagonal rings. This structure is then heated to around 700 degrees C, which causes double bonds to form by dehydrogenation along the backbone as pyridine rings are created and hydrogen is evolved as a byproduct. When gentle heat is then applied to the chains, two of them can fuse together to form a wider ribbon and more hydrogen is given off. With even greater heat slowly added, 
Two of these wider ribbons can fuse together to double the ribbon width with nitrogen gas given off. This gives the final product of carbon fibre for use in badminton rackets. There are two common shuttle types. Feather shuttles are expensive and quite easily broken, especially by an inexperienced player but have good performance. Nylon shuttles being cheaper and more durable means they are more commonly used by casual players where performance is less important. Why is nylon suitable for a shuttlecock? Nylon is flexible due to the free rotation in the long alkyl chains, making the shuttles more durable and not brittle. Nylon is also non-elastic due to hydrogen bonding between chains which reduces the wobble of the shuttle so they fly smoother. And nylon also has a low density ensuring that it remains a similar weight to the feather shuttles. Comparing the shuttles, feather shuttles are more rigid meaning they wobble less when hit and have a greater initial speed off the racket. They also experience greater air resistance so slow down much faster meaning they descend at a steeper angle. Whilst nylon shuttles have a thin nylon skirt to remain lightweight which sacrifices the rigidity leading to a longer wobble making the shuttle more unpredictable and react less well to good technique. This is why feather shuttles are preferred by professionals. So how is the nylon produced? The condensation polymerization of the monomer 11 amino undecanoic acid is a step growth polymerization that gives nylon 11 as the product. Using these simplified structures with the long carbon chains removed, a nucleophilic addition elimination mechanism follows as water is condensed out. This species can then go on to react with another monomer over and over again to give the polymer nylon 11 for use in shuttlecocks. That concludes my brief overview of some polymers used within badminton. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.